Yo, Matos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video infamous coming at you live from the West Coast yet again out here in San Jose, California. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on my fight with, uh, I guess, Omni, Omnicron or whatever you call this thing. So like I said, second time uh, dealing with this disease. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, so far it's been about maybe five days or something like that. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I believe around Tuesday I was pretty much... Uh, over it already uh, I started taking medication on I think it, it was Monday so the day after that's when I started feeling better so I don't know if it was my own immunity or it was the medication antibodies and uh, some other stuff that I can't say uh, I don't know if it was that or like I said I mean there's no way of, of even being able to tell or know exactly uh, if you know if that helped me recover faster or sooner who knows? I mean, I'm not an expert in this. I don't know. Of course, you see other, you know, situations out there. Stephen A. Smith, somebody that I used to watch quite a bit um, in the news uh, sports world. Uh, I believe he caught it too, and it took him, I don't know, I believe a week or two. I'm not too sure what happened. All I know is um, he did spend the uh, the the uh, New Year's holiday or the weekend, the New Year's weekend in, in the hospital. So, um, and he got over it after, I guess, I don't know what happened. Like I said, I mean, there's just no way of being able to tell if uh, if my, you know, health improved because of my own immunity or because of, uh, you know, the treatments. But I've been taking, you know, vitamin D, uh, you know, it's just the stuff that you see on, on the news and on uh, Joe, Joe Rogan's podcast, of course, uh, you know, they were just talking. There's another fella out in the UK that has a very good channel on this whole on this whole thing that's going on. Uh, and he talks about how there's a lot of, uh, I guess, the severity of the illness is based on, I guess, your vitamin D levels. I started taking vitamin D maybe about two years ago, a little bit further than that, because it was recommended to me because of my back pain, my lower back pain, uh, that somebody, you know, one of one of you guys out there just recommended, you know what, you should probably take vitamin D. Sometimes that's, that's related. So I started taking vitamin D since then, and then turns out that there's a lot of Americans that are actually vitamin D uh, insufficient, or what do you say, it? insufficient, or somehow they're lacking vitamin d anyways um so i guess there was a connection somewhere between that and and uh the disease uh so i guess you know what i started taking that and then of course i've been taking a lot of vitamins uh over you know the span of many years uh and i recently added zinc and uh zinc i believe zinc plus c so I've been taking quite a bit of vitamins and that didn't seem to help, I guess, because I mean, I was, yeah, I was miserable for about three nights. And on the third night, that's when I started getting fevers. So yes, it was, it was pretty bad compared to the first time. It was a lot worse. So uh, as, as far as the symptoms, it was a lot worse, not, you know, everything else that's going on. But uh, anyways, like I said, I'm just, I'm better now, but now my family, they seem to be showing symptoms now so it's it's a little bit uh scary right now and you know knowing what i went through uh you know i i know i mean if if that's the case that they're starting to you know show those symptoms it's uh yeah i mean it's, it's gonna be a little bit scary so i'm just kind of you know looking over them and i of course i've been you know trying to distance myself i've been trying to wear the mask uh, that's why i got like bruising right here because I've, I've been wearing it uh, when I'm around them. So, I mean, I don't know if it helps. I don't even know if it works. I mean, you hear different things from the, from, you know, the, the experts, <laughs> you hear different things, cloth masks, double masks, no cloth mask, N95, of course. And then, you know, uh, you know, uh, Fossey was telling people, you know what, I don't even want to say, but you guys know what he said, uh, towards the beginning and then you know they've been changing this stuff the the CDC and you know whatever they've, they've been changing the whole the, everything they've been changing I don't want to get into it because yeah YouTube does not like um, it, I, I guess they don't like us talking about it but the mainstream media they can because yeah because they get it right all the time of course <laughs> so anyways let's just talk about some of the symptoms 
that uh, I guess that I just, you know, wanted to talk about in, in case you're, you know, looking at this and you're and you're getting into it or, or you're starting to feel the symptoms, you know what, just just have positive vibes and, uh, you know, get your rest. I know it's it's tough. Like I said, those nights, the nights are the worst. And uh, during the day, if you're, you know, wondering what else to expect, um, you know, the sore throat is one of those things that really caused me a lot of discomfort. But I mean, all of this, it's manageable. You could, you know, take Tylenol, I guess that's what's recommended or that's what I'm allowed to say. And uh, the, uh, you know what, the halls, the cough drops, that really helped with the sore throat. That was a big benefit because, I mean, I was having a difficult time just passing saliva, drinking water. I mean, you're, you're supposed to stay hydrated. So that was a, a super huge help. And, uh, you know, getting hot water and salt and gargling that, that was a huge pain reliever for my throat. Uh, that was, yeah, something that was just bugging me so much. I, I was having a difficult time just talking because it was just hurting so much. And I guess there's bacteria and stuff like that growing. So, uh, oh man, it helped out a lot. So just having that, having the hulls, having the uh, Tylenol and, uh, having the, um, the hot, the warm salt, uh, water and stuff like that. that really helped a lot. So now I'm you know, I still have the stuffy nose, the uh, the chills, the headaches, the body aches. All of that is gone. That was that was done with. Um, I mean, after Monday, so the third day. Like I said, the second day after the treatment. Uh, yeah, all of that was gone. No more fevers. No more body aches. Uh, yeah, just minor stuff. Stuffy nose, minor coughing, and the uh, the sore throat is the biggest one that really stands out because it just hurts a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think I'm I'm going to, well, I got a call from Santa Clara County. They want me to quarantine for at least, you know, the 2nd of February, which is, you know, what is it? Maybe another two weeks or something like that. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a long time. But um, they were telling me that if I, if I were to get tested again five days after my Tuesday test, that uh, I'd be able to, I guess, not, I guess I'd, I'd be allowed back into the community or back out to the public. And uh, as, just as long as I would, I, I would keep on wearing the mask until February 2nd. So that's my date for, uh, I guess, being 100% recovered. I don't know. But uh, as, of, as of right now, I, you know, based off of my overall health, I'd say maybe another two to three days uh, before I'm back to 100%. So I don't know. You guys just go ahead and share your thoughts. A lot of you guys reached out to me on Instagram and told me you guys were just going through the same thing. Some of you guys have already recovered from this. So, you know what? I'm, I'm glad that you guys are doing, you know, great. And I'm glad you guys, re you know, reached out. And I'm thankful for all of that, of course. So, just wanted to give you guys an update. And this is probably the last video on this uh, on this topic. So, yeah, I'm doing better. So, um, I mean, you guys just stay out there. Stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. You know, life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later. <laughs>